Ladies and gents, fasten your seatbelts and grab your popcorn because Paternity Court is back with Miss Robinson on a mission to unveil her real father. It's a reality show loaded with twists, stakes and more surprises than a magician's hat. Get ready for a wild ride of family drama. Told her from the beginning. Yes, yes. Who her father is. Yes, Your Honor. And who is that person? Mr. Mr. Long, Your Honor. Hold on tight, folks, because Miss Robinson's got a bone to pick with her mom, Miss Harms. She's playing the You're Not My Real Father card, and it's about to get real. Turns out Miss Harms has been weaving a web of lies about dear old dad since Miss Robinson was knee-high to a grasshopper. But here's the kicker. The man Miss Robinson once thought was her father? Nope, not even close. It's like an episode of Who Wants to Be a Daughter? And the answer is definitely not Mr. Not Really Dad. Miss Robinson's got a list of grievances longer than a CVS receipt. She's claiming that her mama's secrets have caused more trouble than a bull in a china shop. Talk about emotional baggage. From birthdays to prom nights, Miss Robinson's been missing the father figure she deserves. But hold the phone, because Miss Harms is entering the courtroom with the grand reveal. Mr. Long, the supposed true blue dad in the flesh. Mr. Wait, it's not all sunshine and rainbows in the land of paternity claims. Miss Robinson's got her skeptical goggles on tighter than a champion swimmer's speedos. She's seen more men claim to be her dad than a Who's Your Daddy reality show. And guess what, folks? She's no spring chicken. She's 36 and still not buying the hype. But don't worry, we're not done yet. Miss Harms is telling tales of grandma gatekeeping, claiming Miss Robinson's keeping her kiddos far from dear old granny's embrace. Oh, the family drama. Time for a blast from the past, folks. Miss Harms drops a bombshell. She claims she spilled the beans about Mr. Long when Miss Robinson was a mere 10 years old. Apparently, the fatherly contender lived next door, like the next door neighbor in a quirky sitcom. Miss Harms even tried to set up a father-daughter meet and greet. But hold on, Mr. Long's not sold on this story. He's throwing in a plot twist of his own, suggesting that Miss Harms had quite the collection of male pals back in the day. Ouch, that's one spicy claim. Of her, she looked like my daddy to me. So naturally, I said, well, it could be my daughter. But then I lost contact with her, with the mother. And now, ladies and gents, we're entering the emotional wrestling ring. Miss Harms is battling away allegations like a pro, but her emotional shield isn't holding up too well. She's certain Mr. Long's the real, and if looks could prove paternity, she'd be on top. But wait, why the disappearing act, Miss Harms? Turns out she was more scared than a cat in a room full of rocking chairs. She feared her own father's wrath because she was practically a spring chicken herself when she had little Miss Robinson. Oh, the family secrets run deeper than a bottomless pit. Hold on to your hats because we're about to witness the ultimate showdown, a face-off of family resemblance. Miss Robinson and Mr. Long are on the same wavelength when it comes to looks, but doubts are still circling like vultures. They're playing the waiting game, folks, and it's like a reality show where the answer's hidden behind a curtain. I knew she was pregnant. And then after she had the baby. After. Did she say you're the father? Right. But fear not, for Judge Truth Bomb is here to save the day. Drum roll, please, because it's time to announce the results. And the verdict's in. Mr. Long is indeed the one and only biological daddy of Miss Robinson. Cue the confetti cannons, because it's a tearful reunion that could rival any soap opera finale. Miss Robinson and Mr. Long embrace like long-lost pals, and Miss Harms is finally off the hook from her web of lies. You are her father. Oh boy, we've got a real Who's Your Daddy showdown, folks. Mr. Brooks is strutting into the court like he's about to claim his rightful throne as the father of Mr. McDonald, the son of Miss Gooley, who's got her arms crossed and her not-impressed face on. Miss Gooley's got this gem of an argument. Yeah, Mr. Brooks, you're totally the dad because, you know, I've been to the zoo and monkeys can fly. Classic. Hold on to your DNA swabs, people. Mr. Brooks is playing the I've been there card. Apparently, he thinks changing diapers and buying SpongeBob Band-Aids is equivalent to being a DNA match. 
He's like, listen, I've binge-watched every episode of Dora the Explorer, so obviously I've earned my fatherhood badge. Pregnant. And then over drama, Mr. Brooks drops this bomb that Miss Ghoulies only decided a year ago that he's not the dad. Must have been quite the belated April Fool's joke, eh? But Miss Ghoulie is on fire. She's like, nah, -uh, I've been singing You Are Not the Father since day one. But Mr. Brooks here thought he was auditioning for America's Got Talent and his Dad of the Year routine. Hold up, the plot thickens. Miss Ghoulie's got a slam dunk argument. She never got pregnant during their 10 year stint. She's basically saying, Your Honor, I may not have a PhD in biology, but even I know how this baby making thing works. And then she drops the DHS bomb, disappearing into thin air like a magician, but blaming it on her struggles. Smooth move, Miss Ghoulie. It was deemed at that time that the children should be removed. Yes. From your home. No. Get ready for the grand entrance of Mr. McDonald, the star of this circus. He's all like texts, drama, and potential father swaps. I'm just here for the popcorn, folks. He's got a tell me who my real daddy is vibe, but let's face it, he's just waiting for his cue to drop a Maury Povich reference. Cue the showdown of the century. Miss Gooley and Mr. Brooks are throwing shade faster than a solar eclipse. She's all efforts, please, and he's like, I put in more hours than a clock factory. The judge is getting all Sherlock Holmes, reading emotions like a psychic at a carnival. She's got front row tickets to the Miss Ghoulie Angry Express and the Mr. Brooks Fear and Loathing Parade. Do you believe Mr. Brooks is your father? Yes, ma'am. You do? Wild tales of DNA, deception, and unexpected moments is what these episodes are filled with. So what's your take on these jaw-dropping twists? Comment below to let us know. Miss Ghoulie finally admits it. Mr. Brooks isn't just a man, he's like the superhero of ex-boyfriends. He's babysitting her grandkids, probably fixing their toy trains and earning those gold stars. Miss Ghoulie must be thinking, well, you win some, you lose some, and sometimes you get a Father of the Year award when you least expect it. Drum roll, please. The judge is all, let's wrap up this reality show, shall we? The paternity results are about to drop like a surprise album for Mr. McDonald himself. And guess what? Mr. Brooks hit the jackpot. He's the biological daddy-o. Cue the tears, cue the confetti, and cue Mr. McDonald doing the moonwalk out of sheer joy. In the end, it's a happy ever after sitcom moment. The judge is basically saying, congratulations, Mr. Brooks, you've won the paternity lottery. She's even serving up some heartfelt wishes for a future filled with shared parenting moments and more drama than a Netflix series. R, his father. <laughs> Next up, Miss Martin has thrown down the gauntlet, claiming that Mr. Blackman treats her youngest like last week's leftover pizza. You know, cold, forgotten, and destined to be tossed out. The affectionometer is hitting rock bottom, apparently. But hold on to your popcorn, folks, because the plot takes a spicy twist. Mr. Blackman swoops in to defend himself with a bombshell. Miss Martin admitted to having a passionate rendezvous with none other than Mr. Stevenson. Move over, romance novels. We've got our own soap opera unfolding. Yes, Your Honor. I was dropping him off at work, dropping the kids off at school, and I was going to be with him for the rest of the day. Well, well, well. During their oh-so-convenient break, Miss Martin took a little detour into Mr. Stevenson's territory, and things heated up faster than a microwave pizza. According to her, he treated her like a rock star, unlike Mr. Blackman, who apparently missed the memo. And guess what? The spicy fling with Mr. Stevenson didn't fizzle out, even after she patched things up with Mr. Blackman. Ah, love triangles in the digital age. What a time to be alive. No wonder Mr. Blackman's starting to question whether he's in the running for Dad of the Year for the youngest munchkin. But he didn't want to sign a birth certificate. But drilling me about a last name or a name and... Fasten your seatbelts, folks, because it's time for the thrilling game of Who's the Daddy? Miss Martin expertly played her cards, serving up the news of her impending motherhood to both Mr. Blackman and Mr. Stevenson. Kudos for multitasking, Miss Martin. 
But wait, there's more. She claims she was enjoying the company of both gents during the conception extravaganza. Ah, modern love at its finest. Meanwhile, Mr. Blackman was playing Doubtful Dan from the get-go. And then we have Mr. Stevenson, who suddenly vanished faster than a magician's rabbit, all thanks to Miss Martin's charming jabs about his potential deadbeat status. Abra Abracadabra! Hold your breath, because the plot's about to thicken. Mr. Stevenson, like a mystery guest star, made a surprise appearance at the hospital after the baby's debut. Cue the dropped jaws as Mr. Blackman grapples with this unexpected twist. Miss Martin's defense? She decided to gift the baby with Mr. Blackman's last name. Oh, the theatrics of paternity claims. And the worst part about it is the only people that have truly paid for these mistakes. But wait, folks, there's a new player in the arena. Enter Mr. Blackman's sister, making her grand entrance with all the subtlety of a bulldozer. She's here to declare her unwavering support for Miss Martin and her kiddos, especially the littlest one. Why? Because she spotted a remarkable resemblance between the child and her dear brother. Move over DNA tests because sisterly instincts are taking the stand. And oh, Mr. Blackman, let's not forget your own colorful history. Karma's a crafty character, isn't she? Even the judge's composure is starting to waver. Miss Marsh, the puppet master behind this grand show of cheating and deception, has turned everyone's lives into a Shakespearean tragedy. Bravo, Miss Martin, for concocting this storm and leaving a poor, innocent child in its wake. Round of applause indeed. And now, drum roll please, because it's the moment we've all been waiting for, the paternity results. And wouldn't you know it, Mr. Stevenson wins the coveted title of Baby Daddy. Cue the torrents of regretful tears from Miss Martin as the reality of her choices hits her square in the face. And there she goes, rushing into the arms of her dear brother, Mr. Blackman, for a tear-soaked embrace. Oh, the drama, the emotion, the grand finale twist in this epic saga.